Hey guys, welcome back to my channel, a little bit of everything with Erin. Today we will be making a glitter stemless wine glass with epoxy. I'm starting off by getting some electrical tape and I'm going to use that to put it around the rim of the cup where I don't want any glitter or epoxy, just the actual cup itself. So I'm just lining that up with the top of the cup and I will just follow the cup all the way around, keeping that tape straight at that line of the top of the cup. You might have to pull it back a little bit here and there to get it to stay straight because you are on a curved surface. So it does make it a little bit difficult. But as long as you use that top of the cup as your guideline, you should get it pretty straight. I'm going to take more electrical tape and I just want to make sure nothing goes inside the cup or gets right on that rim that's exposed. So I always like to do a second layer a little higher and then I just kind of fold it into the cup. Most of the time my epoxy won't go in there but this is just a little safety that I like to do. Personal preference, go ahead and do it however you prefer. So now I'm going to take my Mod Podge and I'm going to pour it into a small cup. That way I don't transfer glitter into my bottle. I'm going to stick my hand in the cup so that I get a good hold on it. And then I'm just going to do thin layers of the Mod Podge all the way around the cup, including the bottom. Now as you can see, on the, on the counter, I also have a piece of paper. I have that folded in half. I'm going to pour my glitter onto the cup over that, and I'm gonna use that paper to put the excess glitter back into my glitter bottle. I'm just going to take my extra fine glitter and just start sprinkling that right over the cup. I do do a little bit thicker on this, that way all of the glitter grabs onto that Mod Podge. You can color the cup before this with spray paint, and that way it'll kind of hide any of the background color, which in this case is the silver. I just, I'm not a fan of the whole spray painting of the cup, so I don't really do it unless I need it to be white for other reasons, for like ink cups that we do. But for the glitter, I don't mind doing an extra layer or two of glitter just to make sure that it's covered properly. So you're just going to go all the way around anywhere you have Mod Podge. I go just past my, my tape so that I know that I got it all the way up. And don't forget to get your bottom as well. So that's our first layer. Looks really good. We're going to go ahead and let that dry before we start a second coat. Okay, so it's been about 30 minutes. It's nice and dry. I'm just going to kind of stick my hand back in there. I have my paper ready. Grab some more Mod Podge, and I'm just going to layer that right on top of the glitter. And this is why I like to put the Mod Podge in a separate little cup, because any loose glitter will come up while you're layering this second coat on, and you'll transfer that into your bottle. So to avoid that, I always pour a little bit into a cup. And again, you're just going to go all the way around, and don't forget your bottom if you're doing the bottom. Now that we have the second layer of Mod Podge on, we're going to go ahead and do the same as before. Sprinkle that glitter right on top. And again, you can avoid having to do this if you want to spray paint the actual tumbler the same color as your glitter. It's all about personal preference and which way you prefer to do it. Now 
So now we have that second coat of glitter on. And again, we're just going to let that dry. This is a really pretty mint color. I love it. All right, so epoxy time. I've mixed mine up for three minutes slowly in my cup. And that is ready to add on to our tumbler. I'm going to be using the finger method where I just grab it out of the cup and I place it on. And I wipe it like I did with the Mod Podge. And I'm using a homemade hand turner. It's just a PVC pipe and a paint roller inside of a box. And there's a big gallon of glue just sitting in the box to keep it weighted down. So everybody always asks me on my epoxy videos what kind of epoxy I use. Uh, I'll be honest, I buy whatever is cheaper and I buy in bulk. So I'm buying gallons of epoxy. So it's usually costing me around $80 to $100. I look on Amazon and eBay and whoever has a good deal of the brands that I like, that's what I buy. If you go down to the description box, I'll have a link to my Amazon storefront. And under the crafting tab, I will have all of my favorite epoxies. Again, I do make a small commission if you buy it from my storefront. It's a very tiny commission, and I use that commission to do more projects like this just to show you. A lot of times, these types of projects, I don't need them, but you guys want videos of it, so I do have to go out and buy all the supplies. So buying from my storefront helps to get those. So I'm just going to keep putting the epoxy on the cup. I like to have a drip pan underneath. You can just get like a cheap throwaway pan from like Walmart that you would like make cookies or something in that you would, you know, like take to a place. And I do actually like to use a smaller cup. I just ran out. So I use the bigger Dixie cup. The smaller ones that are like for bathrooms are easier to get your finger in and grab the epoxy. And I use the hand turner to just kind of turn the cup and make sure that I'm getting an even thin layer of epoxy around the cup. And I will go up a bit, a little bit above where my black tape is just to make sure that I'm getting all the glitter covered. After almost an hour of being on the turner, I do want to get that electrical tape off. I don't want it to dry and get stuck. And then if I leave it too long, then it'll rip on the glitter. So what I'm doing is using my little hook that I use to weed vinyl on HTV. I'm just finding one of the ends of the electrical tape, and I'm using that pick to just kind of lift it a little bit for me. And you have to be careful. You don't want to actually touch any of the glitter or the epoxy because that's kind of drying, so you don't want to leave a fingerprint or anything in there. And once you are able to kind of get it, I do turn the cup as much as possible also. Um, I didn't so much on this piece because this is the piece that's kind of inside the cup. So there's little to no epoxy on that piece. It's the next piece we're going to be careful with. So again, just finding that edge, using my pick to kind of grab it. Then I'm just going to slightly turn the cup. You want to keep the tape straight and you want to pull it away towards you. And this will give you less pull against that glitter. And if a little bit of glitter does kind of come up, you can just kind of tap it down because it should still be in that phase where everything is still wet enough where you can do that and it'll just stick right back down. So now we're going to cut out our vinyl. I'm in Silhouette Cameo. I'm going to take the option to make a circle and I'm going to make that about three inches. That's the size I kind of want to make my vinyl. I just measure out on the cup on what's going to fit. Next I'm going to get a font called Autumn November. 
And I just like this cursive font. You can find it on defont.com. I'll make my first letter, which is going to be a B. And I'll make that big so I can see and so that you guys can see. Then in the same font, I'm going to type out her name, which is Bryce. I'm going to lay that on top of the B and size it and place it where I feel it's going to work best. Again, I'll highlight the word Bryce and I will go to the offset function. Let me just zoom in here for you guys. I'm going to click on offset and I'm just going to bring that in so it's closer to the name Bryce. I held it a little too long, so I'm going to have to go back up a little bit. And once I'm happy with the offset, I will go ahead and hit apply. Then I'm just going to move the actual word Bryce and leave the offset on top of the B, highlight both, and then go to the modify panel and hit subtract. You can actually hit subtract all, subtract whichever one. And then if your offset is still there, just move that and delete it because you don't actually need that. So now it cut out the word Bryce that was overhang onto the letter B, as you can see as I colored it in. And don't forget to weld your cursive if you use cursive. And then that will sit right in between those lines we cut out from the offset. And that way you won't have any overlay if you're doing when you're doing the layering. I'm just going to group those together so that they'll move as one and then I'll size it inside that circle I made and then set it off to cut. So now our vinyl is all cut and we have to weed it. If you want a kind of dental pick like I have you can click on the link in the description box to my Amazon storefront and you can find some in the crafting folder. I think I have a couple that are a good package for $10 and there's numerous items in those packages. Great, great, great tip for weeding. So there we have the bee with the offset cut out. And then we will weed her name, which is in the white vinyl. Now I'm using Oracle 651 my favorite brand cuts like a dream and weeds just as easily now i'm going to grab me some contact paper i just buy this in the kitchen section of the dollar store or a walmart wherever it's pretty cheap and it moves vinyl nicely for me again personal preference some people don't like to use it some people do i am a person who does not mind using it then I'm just going to layer the name right on top of the B inside that offset that we made. Now we'll just layer that right up on top of the cup. Best way I have found is to do one side and then the other. So I keep one side kind of lifted. I push down towards the middle. Then I lift the contact paper up. And that way I can roll the other piece of contact paper down flat and straight. Okay, so we have to add more epoxy to seal the vinyl in, so I'm just getting my electrical tape again, and I am just using that to make sure no epoxy goes up on the silver part of the cup that I have exposed, so I'm just going to line that right back up where I had it before. And you want to make sure it doesn't go over the glitter because you want to make sure that glitter, glitter gets sealed into the epoxy. And like earlier, I will do that second one right on top and kind of fold it in so that we make sure we have a little barrier if the epoxy wants to get a little crazy on us.
So I'm just going to mix my epoxy up for three minutes. It was super cold outside, so my epoxy, which was in the garage, was part A was a little thick, so I actually am mixing a little faster than I typically would because I was trying to heat up that epoxy so it would thin out to the proper consistency. And then just like our first layer, we're just going to grab the epoxy on our finger, our gloved finger, I should say, and just put that all over the cup, getting all sides, make sure we get the bottom, and it is over a drip pan because it is going to be a little messy. So this is actually a time lapse from the first time I put epoxy on it before the decal. I just wanted to go over times. The first hour I spin it every 5 minutes, the second hour every 10, the third hour every 15, and then after that I spin it every half hour. I just watch it and make sure that there's no dimples because as the epoxy is still flowing and hardening, you can get a dimple if you leave it in one spot. So just keep moving it. And again, after about that first hour, go ahead and pull off the tape like we did the first time. Same method. You can see up close that I got it nice and clean. And there she is, all done, looking great. I love it. So if you have any questions, feel free to leave me a comment down below. I too try to answer those as quickly as possible. If you enjoyed this video, make sure you give it a thumbs up and share it if you like. That always helps me out. If you haven't already, make sure you hit the subscribe button. And if you hit that bell at the top of the page, you'll never miss an episode because you'll get a notification anytime I upload a new video. Until next time, guys. Happy crafting!